a lot of people say celebrities get a break here in LA. Mm -hmm. Is that true? No, I mean, cele well, first of all, no. The, the, the short answer is no. Do we treat celebrity cases differently? We have to. Um, the, it's more than just one person who is calling on a case. On a regular case, you deal with the defendant or the victim and their attorney and the judge and the witnesses. With a celebrity case, every single move is scrutinized. And so it seems as though those cases, you take a little bit more time to take a look at it to make sure that the public has faith in the prosecution, that you have faith in the case, and that what is the right thing to do. So they are different, but not in the way people think. So you don't think they get treated with a little kit glove, you know, because they're celebrities and because absolutely not. Really? Absolutely not. You got a, you have a lot of celebrities in the system right now. Chris Brown, for example, um, who may have violated his probation by getting in trouble back in Washington, and we'll see what happens there. But you know, I know there has been that criticism, and the other criticism is that juries have a hard time convicting celebrities. Is that true? Well, I think it's definitely a different ball game uh, with um, with someone of notoriety, you know, when you're trying them, and you have to take that into account. Um, not all celebrityhood is good hood, good good publicity, right? right. Uh, there are certain people, based on the publicity we're getting now, we could try them for a case, and we would have to put up very little evidence. Others, uh, you know, we'd have to put up a lot of evidence because they're so likable, so engaging. But we do a good job here of uh, just focusing in on the facts, focusing in on the case, being very deliberate, very measured, trying not to overreact, but not underreact also. So I think it just takes someone who is not moved by celebrity 